guys, check out the next level games for all your TCG needs. Link is down below in the description of the video. Thanks, guys. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the team. Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is day number two of the Unified Minds World Testing with Jeff Saran. Uh, links are down below to his Twitter page as well as the Super Rodcast. Make sure you check him out this year. Uh, follow both on their Twitters, especially with Jeff, because he will be commentating regionals and coming to you very soon, and you'll have details coming out for that. Uh, but like yesterday, what we have done is we have both picked five different decks to play against each other, and we're going to battle it out to only one deck is remaining. So today, the deck I have chosen is going to be Dark Box. I'm not really sure what the name is going to be, but uh, the deck list is actually from Omnipoke. Uh, it is a list where he did his top 10 favorite decks from Unified Minds, uh, the rotation or best decks for Worlds. So I have a link to that as well down below. And what would this actually would do, we'll show you 10 different lists uh, that you can actually see for uh, the Worlds format. So there's a lot going on here. There's a, every single, pretty much all these dark cards are from the new set. Looks like Unified Minds really did uh, care to their, uh, I guess, the dark meta game. Uh, there are some old faces in here as well, but let's go over this and let's see what's it about. So the main person you really want to look into is this Weavel GX. This is pretty much what helps the whole deck out. Um, the whole deck, right? It's got 200 HP and it has the ability Shadow Connection. As often as you like during your turn before you attack, you move a basic dark energy from one of your Pokemon to another Pokemon. Now this makes me really excited because one of my favorite car decks ever was Hydreigon, uh, which did the same thing as well, but it was actually a stage two. Uh, so I'm excited to play this. Uh, Hydreigon was one of the first decks I played in cities way back in the day, and I think it actually wouldn't be my first cities. And it has attack Claw Slash, 130, not very good, and Nocturnal Maneuvers GX, search deck for any, for, search deck for any number of basic Pokemon, and put them onto your bench. Not a, that's pretty bad GX. Well. Compared to everything else in this deck. So playing a 3-2 Weavile line. And of course one ditto as well. Now to get these Dark Energies on the board. You can attach them or just use Naganadal, um Charge Up. We've seen this before in multiple different decks. But now we have Naganadal. Uh, be able to Charge Up. Get those Dark Energies. Own your Naganadals. Or I can say Naganadal like 30 different ways. And then move the Energy down with Weavile GX. Now you can actually attack with Naganadal. Uh, it has Turning Point as 80. And even exactly three prize cards, man, this attack does 80 more damage. So it can be attacker, um, which is very good, right? It does 160. We're still playing Mew. Uh, the bench barrier is very strong because Picarama is one of the best decks in the format. The Danny is in here just for an ounce because there's no more Tapu Lele. And now we have all these as a dark Pokemon. Now, Darker Prism, he isn't new, but his ability is very strong for this deck. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may attach two dark energies from your hand to it. So basically, it allows you to attach three Dark Energies in one turn. You can put down Darkrai, activate the Nightmare Star, attach two Dark Energies, and you're good to go. And his attack is pretty decent as well. 120, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. Your opponent flips two coins instead of one between turns. If either of them is Telos, the Pokemon is still asleep. So this is very good because, like I've said before in the past video, there's no more Guzman in this format. And the only real way to get your Pokemon to be active is going to be Switch. And there's a bunch of different ways, probably. Uh, skateboard and stuff like that. But... Uh, the main one is going to be Switch and a Skateboard. Outside of that, you really don't have too many switching options. Options, So the Abyssal Sleep could punish your opponent. But Dark Rider Prism is mainly used for the Nightmare Star. So as you see, we have three of the Dark Pokemon to kind of go over. Uh, the next biggest one to probably look into is the Umbreon or Dark Rider GX. That's 270 HP. It is a tag team. And it has the attack Black Lance. It does 150. And this attack does 60 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon GX or EX. And it has Dark Moon GX. So first of all, Black Lance is fantastic. Uh, Dark Rider EX was a four. It was decked to be like watched out for. It did 90 and 30. Now we're doing 150 and 60. Uh, almost a double. Both of those, of course, the 90 is not doubled, but the 30 snipe is doubled. Uh, so very, very strong. Still only needed three energies. 270, and it does give it three prize cards. But still, this card's gonna be insane to play. People do 150 and 60. Uh, there's no longer choice ban, of course, but. In expanded, that card does exist. Uh, and you have Dark Moon GX. Your opponent's Pokemon can't play any trainer card from their hand during the next turn. If this Pokemon has at least five extra Dark Energy attached to it, in addition to this attack's cause, your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out. So, if you have six energies on Umbreon and Dark Rider GX, they just take a knockout. They just automatically just knock out your opponent. And 
Your opponent can play the Trader Guards. It's a very, very good GX tag, right? I like it a lot. The next up uh, new tag team GX is going to be Mega Sableye and Tyranitar GX. 280 HP. First of all, he is a tank. He is a monster, but uh, he needs five energies. <laughs> that is a lot, but the attack is so worth it. It does 210 damage. Well, that is insane. But if your opponent's Pokemon GX or EX is knocked out by damage from this tag, take one more price card. So this means against like, you know, Basuflion and other Pokemon that are GXs that have less than 210 HP, you can treat them as tag teams. Yes, you do need five energies, but they get to do 280 damage retaliation. And if they don't take a knockout, you can then use Greedy Crush again. And you can set this up with knockouts with Darkrai. You can do 150, 60, and then Mega Tyranitar coming there and swing. And you can take four price cards on a GX on a tag team. That's insane. And it also has a really good GX tech. It has Giga Fall GX. It does 250 just straight up, which is insane, right? 250, you're knocking out the majority of Pokemon in the format. But if this Pokemon has at least five extra energy to it, attached to it, in addition to this tax cost, discard the top 15 cards of your opponent's deck. Yes, that is 10 dark energies, right? Three, four, five, right? You need uh, five extra energy attached in addition to this tag. But you get to discard the top 15 cards of your opponent's deck. So now, if your opponent, if your opponent is playing some kind of deck and they go too crazy, um, they have to keep in mind that at any moment you can give up all of them, right? And they need 10 energies. And you might be saying, okay, what? You know, 10 energies? That's insane. But with the power of Naganadale, the power of Weavile is can make it very doable, right? We're playing 11 dark energies. Um, you know, you can get your Dark Energy back with Naga Daedal. You have two of those. You're using the power, the, the charge up every single turn. Uh, so even though it seems like a lot, it could be very easy doable. Now the last GX is going to be Greninja and Zark GX. It has 250. Another tag team, but it has Dark Pulls. 30, and this deck does 30 more damage times the amount of Dark Energy attached to all of your Pokemon. Now this is really nice because it only needs 2 energy. And when you have three on the field, you're doing 90. Um, you can start doing some chip damage off very quickly. If you're going second, you could quickly get two Dark Energies on Greninja and Zark. Very nice. It also could do a ton of damage if your opponent's not careful, right? Dark Pulse could take a knockout out of nowhere, uh, which is very cool. It has Dark Union GX. Uh, don't worry about it. You're not using it, so I'm not reading that paragraph of a description. The main GX text is going to be the Mega Sableye and Tyranitar and the Darkrai on the Brianna Darkrai. So the, all the Pokemon here, there is a lot, but let's keep going along. Acrobike for consistency, of course. A new card um, that we're going to see. It's not a new card, but it's a card we're seeing more and more in decks now. Especially with Naganadel being put Dark Energy in your Disco File. A new card that we have is now Cherish Ball. Search it for GX, reveal it, and put it in your hand. Very nice. This is a very playable card because now you can get Umber and Darkrai. You make a turn as our Sableye. Weavile, Darkrai, and the Dedini with the Cherish Ball. We're playing three Mysterious Treasure. Yes, it gets Dark and Psychic, but it also discards a card from your hand. So we don't have Ultra Ball, so this is a new way to get your Dark Energies in the discard pile. We're playing four Communications. So we have, what, three, six, ten outs to Pokemon, essentially. Uh, two Switch, which is very nice because your Pokemon do have very heavy retreat calls. But we do have a card called Dark City, making your Dark Pokemon to play. Both you and your opponents have no, or basic Dark Pokemon to play. Both you and your opponents have no retreat calls. Which is really nice because now all your guys have free retreat if needed. Uh, two ready for us. Once again, we can get Dark Energies in our discard pile. And, uh, you know, we need to power up our Naga So Without Ultra Ball, these cards are very, very useful with the Acrobite, Mysterious Treasure, and Viridian Forest. For Cynthia, for Lily, a very common staple, we'll see. Two air because the draw you have, um, if you have four cards less, you drop each card on your opponent's side of the field. One Nanu, which is very interesting because we don't have Super Rod or Stretcher in the format right now. We only have Brock's Grit. So this chooses the basic Dark Pokemon in your discard pile and switch with one of your Pokemon and play. Any cards, any uh, any attached cards, damage counters, special conditions, turns in play, and other effects remain on this new Pokemon. So basically, you just take whatever Pokemon you want, switch with your discard pile Pokemon, and you're good to go. This is really good if you do have to discard all of, like, you know, if you discard your one of Greninja Zark, you can get it back. If you discard your Mega Sub by Trinitar and it gets knocked out or something, you can get it back. So, a very cool card for sure. And 11 Dark Energies. But give me a second. We'll see Jeff's list here in a second. And it's going to be a very interesting matchup. I can say that much. Alrighty, guys. So, here we go. In the next, uh, in Jeff's deck, we actually have a very interesting one. It's a very new art archetype, and that is going to be 
Frost Slash. So now we have this non-GX deck make an appearance in this kind of tournament kind of thing. And he want to give a shout-out to Josh Hatter uh, for the Frost Slash list. He posted on his Twitter. Uh, so shout-out to Josh for sharing that. And Jeff took advantage of it and played it in this tournament. So we know what some of these cards do already, right? We know what Jirachi, we know what Stella Wish does. We know what Mew, Bench Barrier, very new, very similar card. Buzzwall, going to be very good in this matchup. It has Sledgehammer 30, opponents has exactly four cards remaining. This deck does 90 more damage. Spirit 2, it's not a new card, um, but we really haven't seen it too much on the channel. It says once turn to turn before you attack, you put one damage counter on that Pokemon, on this Pokemon, sorry. And it has the attack Anguish Cry. It does 10, and this attack does 30 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So, if you have up to five damage counters on it, you do 160 damage. Now, this doesn't seem like a lot, but this card's like Hustle Belt. Uh, this, this, if the card, this Pokemon's card, oh my goodness, if this Pokemon this card is attached to has 30 HP or less, it does 60 more damage. So that means your Spear Tombs are doing like, what, 160, 100 and, or 220, right? Yeah, they give you 220 damage. Very, very strong. If you keep building Spite, building Spite, building Spite, you do it five turns. You're doing 160 base with the Hustle Belt, 60 more, so 220 damage. Combine this with Shrine of Punishment, and you're going to easily start taking knockouts on GX and EX. So you have this powerful Spirit Tomb, okay? And Jeff also plays a 3-3 Frostlass. Frostlass has this new new attack called Spit, Spitful Sigh. Uh, put up the damage, 7 damage counters on this Pokemon. This attack does 20 damage for each damage counter you're placed in this way. So if you do this, you can do up to 140 damage. Once again, if you go to 10 HP, um, you can do the Hustle Belt, so you do 200 damage. I think that's correct. I don't know the exact ruling on it, but if you put 7 damage counters on it, it should be, you know, 10 HP. It's 140, and then with the Hustle Belt, it does 200 damage. It seems correct. So you have these, like, 9 GX EX Pokemon for 1 energy, swinging for a ton of damage. That's very nice. Uh, there's also Hoopa. Hoopa has the attack Evil of Domination. It does 10 Add my mission, add my mission. I gotta say the attack right. Uh, it does 10, it does 20 damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon that it has an ability. Uh, this is mainly used for, uh, it's gonna be mainly used for the Malamar decks because Giratina is weak. Uh, but also, still, if your opponent has like five, you know, ability Pokemon out, you do 110 damage. Um, still, a non GX EX that can do a ton of damage for one energy, and it's a basic as well. You kind of punish for, it, for having just, you know, ability Pokemon. So it's very, like, I don't want to say anti-meta, but, like, Frostlass covers, like, you know, Reshizard and stuff like that. Uh, you get the Buzzwall, which can cover, you know, Picarom and stuff like that. Even though it's one, uh, the one is going to be very good. It's just not going to GX EX out of nowhere. You still have these, like, very strong Pokemon that can just take knockouts. And you see he is playing the Custom Catcher. So even though they don't one-shot something... You can custom catch your back up and be good to go. He has played adventure bag to search for two tool cards, put them to your hand. There is the dangerous drill. You can only play this card if you discard a dark Pokemon from your hand. Discard a Pokemon tool or special energy card from your one of your opponent's Pokemon to play, or discard a stadium card. So it can disrupt your opponent's side of the field, like a tool or special energy, or a stadium card. I imagine this is mostly going to be used for spell tags. Um, that could be really nice. But the one of seems kind of off because you have to hit it. We got four communication, of course, for consistency. Uh, there's really nothing else to search out as Pokemon besides the four communication. So that can be a downside of these decks, right? There's no Ultra Ball, no Love Ball, no Nest Ball, just communication. One reset stamp, because once again, you're playing a deck that's non GX EX, so reset stamp can put your opponent down to one. There is the Stadium Nav, which is a brand new card. Flip two coins for each heads, search deck for a Stadium card or Villa and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Uh, so basically, just you know, being able to find your stadium cards can be very strong in this format because we are very stadium heavy. One search gear you Pokemon on the active. There is two power plants, um, a card we haven't seen too much on this channel as well. But Pokemon GX and EX in, in play have no abilities. Now this is going to be a big deal in this matchup because since he has two power plants, it can shut down our two stadium cards and make it work. Can use Wave All GX and he has a Shrine of Punishment as well, so he has like multiple. Stadium cards to kind of hurt the deck that he's playing against today. Uh, four Cynthia, three Eric, uh, three Eric, two Eric, sorry, and three fan club to search deck for two base Pokemon to reveal them and put into your hand. Uh, this is gonna help you with consistency. Just be fine, two base Pokemon is really nice, right? You can find the Hoopa, Spiritomb, Buzzwall, Jirachi, Mew, Snorrent, 
and not the Brawl Stars. So you literally can search for anybody but the Brawl Stars you know, with the Pokemon Fan Club. So there's three of them just to help you out. There is three escape boards for that free retreat with Jirachi, very cool. Three Hustle Belt, we've already seen the math on this. Four Rainbow Energy, which can help you build the Anguish Cry damage as well. Four of the Unit Energy, and I meant to ask why is he playing this one and not just like water? Because there's no grass or fire in this deck um, that I can see on top of my head. So you just get the four dark. I, I you know, do you play the four water instead? I don't know. Uh, but two dark, of course, for, you know, the spear two and the hoopa. The water is for frost slides. I mean, I, I wouldn't think why you just wouldn't play the water. But maybe I'm missing something I don't know about. But guys, there we go. There's two decks. I know it's a long introduction, but we're covering two brand new decks. And now we'll see this battle between Dark Box versus Frost Slice. Um, you know, you got this non-GX deck that's kind of clunky. Maybe they'll miss a setup versus a clunky kind of dark, like a stage one uh, GX, GX deck. So we'll see what it went, who wins. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. And let's see the deck in action. Alrighty guys, so here we are in day number two. Do we actually have a mirror match? Heads. We won the coin flip. I saw Dark, and it makes me think he's playing... Oh, it's Dark and Water and a Zara coin. What is this? I have no idea. Alright, so start with Poipol. Poipol. Obviously, guys, uh, my name is Josh Quick and Marking, and today we are watching uh, day number two of uh, playing new Pokemon decks. Woo! Alrighty, so let's see here. A uh, Hoopa. Okay. Is my Hoopa needed for this matchup? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what he's really playing. We'll go ahead and grab Darkrai. Seem probably the best thing to grab right now. Uh, grab Darkrai. We can Lily for three, four, for four. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We can go Dark to Darkrai. We didn't find any way to get Weavile. That's unfortunate. So I'll press done right now. On to my opponent's turn. Uh, okay, yeah. So we can't attack by turn two, which is sometimes this deck like, kind of struggles with, right? Like, Okay, so there's another Hoopa. I don't know what he's playing. Pokemon Fan Club, okay. I'm going to get a notepad out real quick, guys. So let's see. Picarum versus Malamar. I was right. I'm writing the decks down, so I, I know where they are as I'm um, editing the videos, if you don't know. But... There's a Jirachi and a Snore. So this is a Frost Slash deck, I imagine. Um, let's see. So communication. All right. Sorry, I'm done typing now. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. For Mew, I just didn't want to forget. Off top. The Mew is actually pretty relevant in this matchup with that Black Lance attack. Well, we need, he's not going to put down GXEX. There's a Spear Tomb. Ooh, the Anguish Cry. Ooh, I like this deck a lot. Be able to English like cry, uh, building spy, hustle bell going down. Oh, going to snort actually. Huh. Interesting. I, I wonder if he meant to put on the spear tomb and he just misplayed. I don't know. Oh no, because hustle bell. Ah, uh, no, 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 never mind. Never mind. We're fine. So building spy. Okay. My uh, sounds like my cat is getting into something right now. <laughs> okay, so we can go Viridian Force. Viridian Force, discard the dark. We're dark. We can go. Mm, uh, let's see here. Huh. We can go Naganadel. Charge up. A dark energy. Hey, Zorzor. Attach a dark energy. And unfortunately, we're just done. We could have waited for a spit poison, but I want to be able to attack with dark right next turn if he takes a knockout, which he might be able to. He does play uh, Custom Catcher, so we see a Cynthia. And get a new hand of six. Okay. Let's see what else Jeff has for us. This hand is terrible right now. But we do have a, another Viridian Force. If we talk like another Dark Energy, that'd be really nice. Uh, I just really want to get this Weavile play. Now think about Evil a Domination. A domination? Well, it only does like 40 if only have four, two ability poke, poke one out, so it's not too bad. Another building spike coming down. Okay. The, uh, the Tornado Alarms are being s tested right now. Okay. 
So another snort. Does snort fall into fries laws? I'm pretty sure it does. So another snort coming down. Okay. Another shrine coming down as well. Great, great, great. Things are happening, happening. Dark energy deactive. Evil a domination for 30. Ad, admin mission. Admin mission. Josh, learn to talk cards. My goodness. All right, so I guess we'll... I guess we'll Dark City and another hard pass. <laughs> ah, we bumped two of the shrines, but I think after that we don't have any more shrines or any state of cards left. So Erica for three. Okay. Another communication. For Mew. For Frost Labs. There it is. I wonder if he'll attack with Frostless right now. Jirachi coming up. Oh, he's got free treat because Dark City, Josh. Oh, my word. You just helped him out. But I really don't want the Shrine to be down either. Take away my Dark Rye. Okay. So heads on to our turn. Okay, what do we get here? What do we get? Nothing. Okay, so we can go Cherish Ball for Dedini. Okay. We can put down this and the Dini. Yep. Okay, so we can attack this turn. That is great. Um, the problem is we still can get a, uh, a thing out. Uh, that's great. That's even better. So we can go Acrobike. There's a sneak. Oh, man, that's probably Mother not going to do. I think the deck only plays like a 3-2. Um, so let's miss, let's cherish ball to see what's in the deck. Oh, I just played another one. Okay, so we can go get, the, make, we can get this. So that's fine. We'll grab this. We'll go mysterious treasure, discard this for a Naganadel. We'll put down the Naganadel. Uh, attach a dark switch and black lance. Yep. <clears throat> Alright, so 150 coming down. Uh, we do have free treat now. If that dark city stays in play, we go down to five price cards. We find ourselves a Weavile GX. Very nice. So we can uh, maybe like get some attacks off, like back to back attacks. I mean, so I'm, I'm trying to figure out what his deck kind of does, right? So there's a, a hoop coming down right now. It does five. It does two, four, six. Um, Frostless can, you know, do up to 140. So there's that. Okay. Cynthia. This guy can do... Uh, I don't even know. We'll just kind of play by... I mean, there's nothing I can really do. If he takes a knockout, he takes a knockout. Like, it doesn't matter. Uh, the building spike will keep happening. Obviously, I can use a Black Lance to its full effect because uh, it is not a GX... EX tech power plant. Okay, that's good. We can just play the Vernon Force. Bump that. Evil Adam Mission for 50. All right. So, on to our turn. So, we go Weavile. We can go Vernon Force. And we can Lily for New Hand. So we can go dark here. I should have ready for the dark the way. That's silly, Josh. We'll go, we'll go here. We will ready for the dark. For dark. I don't know how we go about this. I mean, so eventually we'll be able to swing with our Naganadels, right? I think that's how the game plan kind of goes here. So put one there. Um, let's just go ahead and move the dark from here to here. That seems like a better play. Press done. And we'll go for another Black Lance. Go down to four price cards. And then the Naganadels can like start swinging and stuff um they can take knockouts and i think that's how we kind of go about this game right i think we like go early with dark eye go with not gonna nails and take knockouts that way so fan club i mean he can yeah no he can't take a knockout just yet unless i'm missing i don't know how 
yeah, because th this doesn't count yet. So yeah, that doesn't activate. So there's a Buzzle and a Jirachi. Ooh, ooh, the Buzzle is actually very scary. He can use the Buzzle right now. Okay, there's that. There's a Buzzle. Does he have a way to tackle a Sledgehammer? A skateboard? Okay. Does he have a way to go for a Sledgehammer this turn? That would be fantastic. Retreat to the Buzzle. We will see a Sledgehammer this turn, but we will be able to knock him out. Um. Huh. Power plant. Do we have a way to bump this? That's the question. I don't know if we have another way to bump that stadium or not. So he goes out of three. We'll set up Nagnadel. Okay. We'll go charge up a dark. Charge up a dark. Let's look at our deck and see what we all have. <clears throat> we'll go communication, the Weavile. Let's see what's in here, guys. So that stadium is there forever. Forever. How many energies left in our deck? Four, five. So we go dark here. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, the game plan is just swing with Nagonadales. He's gonna swing with this. I swing with this. Hope we attach. Uh, I should have had him attach here, and then Claw Slash could take a knockout because now we don't have enough turns. Yeah, that probably would have been a better play, Josh. Attach it to use the weave out, but he still has to hit the rainbows and stuff, so. Might be a little hard for him to do that. We'll go ahead and Cynthia. I, there's nothing in our deck that can really like. We just need to hit energies every single turn now. To be honest with you. Uh, so we'll go ahead and play this for this. We're just sending our deck down. Uh, we don't play another Naga Natal, but we could maybe slash. Right? Yeah, we can pull a slash off. That'd be really cute. And uh, knock out his Pokemon that way. So we're going to three. There's a Greninja Zor GX. Yeah, so I think the game plan is to attach a dark here. This guy takes a knockout. Um, he takes a knockout down to... Oh, man. He might, if he takes a knockout here, he's got the game. I can't trade back and forth like he can right now. Because I can't get rid of this power plant to move the energies to Weavile. But he's got to find in some way to... Yeah, he's got to find those guys. He's got to power them up. So there's a rainbow energy. So we've taken a knockout. Erica's Hospitality. Man, if we could reset stamp, I don't, this deck doesn't play reset stamp, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we could actually go for a Dark Pulse, and that might what save us. I'm going to be honest. Maybe we go for Dark Pulse, and then maybe that's how we deal with this. How many Custom Catchers has he played? Two Custom. So he has two more left in the deck, which is very unfortunate for us. So building Spite again. Okay. Hmm. It's looking down to, does he find a rainbow of the following turn? So, reset stamp. Oh, puts a three. Okay. All right, that's fine. Just got to find ourselves. We just got to find that Greninja, Greninja's Ark. And if we find that, we might have a chance. So, he's going for the double right now. Uh, Very smart if it does take a knockout. I don't think it does, but there's no way we can retreat this guy, I don't think. I don't think we'll play another switch in the deck. Oh, goodness. So we can go... Charge up. Dark. Um, You know, we air cuts for six. I don't think there's another switch in the deck. I'm pretty sure this plays... Oh, it might play two. I can't recall. I'm not even going to lie to you. So we can Erica's for six. Let's see what happens. Oh, well, we didn't get it in that game. <laughs> is there another switch in here? Uh, there is! Oh, no! We whiffed the switch. Oh, man. Yeah, I thought that this place two. Uh, so that's unfortunate. I'll love taking the knockout. Yeah, I mean... 
it was kind of risky going for that custom catcher play because I think you would actually trade back and forth and then use your last two custom catchers to win. But then he's risking like drawing energies and stuff like that. So there we go. Jeff taking game number one for sure. I don't know how this match the buzz will come in there. That was something um, I did not expect. Did not expect the buzz will for sure. All right. All right, all right. I was giving props. I said that was a really cool game. I'll, I'll take that. All right, so we lost the coin flip. All right, but we're going first. Of course, it is best two out of three on our turn. Let's see what happens. Okay, so press done. All right. So let's see here. I wonder if I hit the switch. Did he have a way to actually knock out that Mega Tyranitar? That's the real question. I don't know. Okay, so start this guy. Press done. Um, I mean, we did kind of like struggle a little bit on our side. I'm not going to lie, but it is what it is. <clears throat> okay, get some stuff down. So we have a really cool thing we can do right now. We can go Cherish Ball for some kind of GX. Let's see what's in here. Dark Rite is in here. That's great. So we can go ahead and go for some kind of GX. It doesn't really matter. We're not going to play it. We'll kind of fake him out, right? We'll go communication. Then we'll communication in the uh, Dini. We'll grab the Dark Ray Prism. Yep. Let's see. Okay. I'm always scared that I'll misclick that. Get this for this. Man, if we had a Lily, that'd be great. Uh, we'll get a Poipo. We'll turn to put 2,000 Poipo and sit there for new hand of six. Okay, so we can go... Greninja Zork. Attach a Dark Energy. Press done. Yep. And the next turn we can Charge Ball for Weavile GX. And start partying with Greninja Zork. I think that might be the best way to go about this. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, we can also, like, go for a Didini play, which is, like, it could be very risky if we don't, like, it depends what we top deck, right? If our hand is trash, then we might go for the Dini. Uh, do we need Mega Sable Eye Trinitar is just very nice to have. Um, we could just, like, discard it and hit the Hapu and then, like, fake him out and then, like, play it and then discard the top 15 cards of his deck. Hmm. Switch into the Jirachi, okay. Yeah, we just need to start swinging like immediately. I think that's the game plan here. Uh, what is it's so weak to fighting, right? Yeah, that's unfortunate. Man, can you imagine going for the Bustle Sleep? That's so many energies. Okay. Oh, the Bustle's in the deck too. Oh, great. Okay. Well, that's great. Huh. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. So there's a Jirachi. Okay. We got a second Jirachi. I guess it just helps set up for sure. Building Spite. Okay. Get the damage there. The good thing is we're going to start taking knockouts in, like pretty much. Oh my goodness. Another power plant. Oh my word. Stop. Stop it. Okay. So we'll cherish ball for Weavile. We'll, we'll just go ahead and grab it. Um, just to, you know, you know, why not thin the deck down. Acrobike for the switch. My goodness. What a beast. Um, so put down the Weavile. We will switch. I guess it, it helps. It kind of balances out since we missed a switch last game. Uh, so Dark Pulse for 150. Okay. So there we go. Already doing some stuff. There is a Mysterious Treasure, which can get us a Naga Needle. And we can start pounding up this guy, which is not bad at all. There's, dark, there's one Dark Energy in there. Okay. There's a Jirachi coming up. Yeah, this, I like the Greninja Zork a lot in this deck. I'm not going to lie to you. It seems really, really good. Um, man, it's just a good attacker. Like, just 2 energy, 150. It just kind of just, like, goes through your opponent. Adventure bag. Going to find them in a skateboard. And a hustle belt. Okay. Let's see where the hustle belt goes. Okay, so Stella Wishing. Wishing upon a star. Let's see. He's already played a supporter card. Uh, what's, uh, the, 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 the mere hand, uh, power plant, another power plant, great, there's another one we gotta go through, okay, skateboard, 
Building Spite. Is it an attack with Frostlass? Probably. Yep, there's Frostlass coming up. Hustle Belt. How does this work? We're going to find out how this works. So it does do 200. Cool. Alright. So we'll go here for here. Grabbing the Naganado. We'll go charge up a dark. We will attach the dark. Dark pulse or knockout. Okay. Let's see. What do we find now? Come on, support a card. Communication. That's not a card we want. I mean, if we find a way to bump the stadium, it could be a good card to find, right? And then we can, like, the data and then go that way. Still a wish. Okay. There's a Cynthia. Can you find energy? Hustle Belt to the uh, Snort. Cynthia for New Hand of Six. Come on, we gotta hope he whips energy, right? Gotta hope he whips. Gotta hope he whips. He needs energy and a Frost Slice. Uh, he also can maybe attack a Hoopa. Uh, no. Building Spite again. Building Spite again. Let's see what else he finds. Another Building Spite, okay. That, 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 that. Yep, that's a thing there. That is definitely a thing there. <coughs> I mean, the, the, a one game plan as well is we could use Mew and take, like, multiple knockouts one turn. I wonder if I had that last game and I just didn't see it. Uh, but it's already going terrible for my side. It might be a quick 2-0 to start day number two. Uh, so we got the Mysterious Treasure. Doesn't really get us anything, though. We can go, like, at least Mysterious Treasure, discard the Dark Eyes, say, okay, well, bye, buddy. Not Dark Eyes, say, bye, whatever that is. Uh, we'll get another Poipo. We'll get a Poipo. We'll charge up. And we'll at least take a knockout, but, I mean, our hand looks pretty terrible right now, Josh. Turning point for 160, or 81. Uh, oh, you have, sorry. I read it. Uh, <laughs> just kidding, Josh. Just kidding, guys. Oh, this is going great. This is going great. Yeah, I played one supporter card. The power plant, that's that's the key here, dude. Power plant is going ham right now. Huh. Let's see. I mean, what can we really do this turn? Uh, I mean, we could maybe attack with Dark right? if we get lucky, right? Yeah, if we get lucky, we could maybe attack with Dark right? but yeah, this non GX deck is definitely like hurting us. So we got the. Does he have double for knockout on somebody? Spear two come down, building spite, building spite, building. I mean, I I, I really hope we can still pull this Mew playoff and just take like multiple knockouts, right? That'd be the great, the great play of uh, my my time. Huh. <laughs> Let's see. What else does Jeff have for us? He's probably just sitting there. He's like, I got this. Oh, double custom the Weavile. There it is. Oh, goodness. That's not good. Erica's for four. Okay. I mean, I don't think he can take a knockout right now. Because um, he doesn't have Buzzle, so that's good. Stadium Nov. Tails. Tails. No Stadium card for you. Rainbow Energy to Spear Tomb. Great. Gonna swing and put a ton of... Per so it's up to us to find a Dark Energy, right? <laughs> oh, man. How many customs has he played? Just two. What? Uh, lucky. So go here for here. Grabbing the Naganadado. Naganadado. We'll put down the Naganadado. We'll charge up. Okay. We are just living on a prayer right now. I will tell you that much. We are just living on a prayer. Well, sure. Now, do we charge up or not? If we don't take a knockout, if he takes a knockout on the 
Weavile, we, yeah, we don't need to, we, yeah, we just need to hold this hand. So go down to two prize cards. Okay, so we're, you know, we might have a chance. With, oh, no, just give me an energy. Oh, come on, come on now. <laughs> oh, goodness, just give me something. Oh, goodness gracious. I mean, his plan might be attack with Hoopa, but then, like, we can, oh, Pistol Sleep doesn't take a knockout either. My goodness, communication. Okay, so he can't, well, Buzzwell doesn't really matter too much. <laughs> okay. You can see, like, we are not even really doing anything, and this Dark Blocks is still, like, it's still doing work. I can say that much, right? But, I guess we said I'm not going to deal, and just hope we just hit, I don't know, a supporter card. This, this something. Lord. Jirachi, building spite, okay. Building spite, okay. Four and three, okay. He is thinning the deck down. That is what he's doing right now. Okay. Retreat, okay. So he's not attacking this turn, but we are not taking a knockout either, per se. Huh. But, remember, Mew could be key here. Mew could win us the game if he's not careful. So on our turn, what do we get? Give me something good. Give me something good. Okay, that's something. So we can go charge up a dark. Um, attach a dark. We need one more energy. Turn a point. 460. Okay, this is fine though. If we can get that Mew playoff that I keep talking about, we can take a double knockout, a skateboard. Okay. Still a wishing. Man, I can't believe I just can't find a sporter card. Man. Oh, he's got the double custom again. Oh, goodness gracious. He's going on a one price card. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. He's retreating. Okay. Still okay, so we're going to have both of the Jirachis at low, 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 low HP. There's a Cynthia, okay, but I mean, how many switches has he played? He's played one switch, got another English cry happening, okay. Another, oh, yes, 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 yes. All right, so that is the key. Can we get a Mew and an Energy? We, we can win the game. Yeah, if we get Mew and Energy, <laughs> we can win the game, okay. Can we take a knockout this turn? Last question. Can we find anything? Oh, please, Pokemon, just help me out here. I mean, okay, if we top deck away to tackle Darkrai, oh, we got this. We got this. We, we just won. We are the champions, my friend. Okay, so we can attach this. We get Abyssal Sleep. Yeah, there we go, 120. I literally played one supporter card and we're going to win this game. <laughs> it's, it's only plan is to go with Hoopa. And even though it's not enough for a knockout. Right? Two, four, six. It only does it only does 90. So yeah, we, we won this game. We've got this game. Yes. All right. Uh, okay, so we still need to play careful, Josh. Man, if only... Yeah, I guess we'll just go for the Abyssal Sleep. Sure. <laughs> he just texted me saying I'll go first. Uh, he's still not... That's cool, so cool about the Abyssal Sleep. This is a double flip. Okay. So let's see here. He said, oh, I'm 130. Uh, oh, this shrine coming down. Okay. Okay. We, we, okay, so no matter what, we don't show them the Mew. Like, we don't, we don't go crazy, show them the Mew. We don't show them the Mew. We keep the Mew out of his head. Like, we just take whatever. Okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> he said, oh, I'm 130. I'm like, yeah, you are. <laughs> Like, I literally played one supporter card. I played one supporter that game, card game, that that card that game, and we still won. That's crazy. All right, so go to game number three. Back-to-back -back games number three, or back-to-back -back game, to go to game three. All right, so here we go, guys. Can we get two of our decks 
Uh, or will Dark Box fall in the first game? All right, so they're going first. Of course, Jeff's going first. All right. I'm fine with that. Hand is terrible. You can see the Nanu, the new Nano, whatever. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Let's see what happens in game number three. I think this will the big... The big thing is going to be the Mew. Like, him not knowing about the Mew and building... Oh, my word, Lord. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the, the thing that hurt us was power points. We're definitely not dropping anything. But we could just lose. Like, uh, we could just get donked here. <laughs> okay, there's a Spirit Tomb and a Snort. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, man. So, building Spite. Great. Energy. Power Plant, pass it our turn. Poipo, Radiant Forest, Radiant Forest, a Dark Energy, uh, Dark Energy, done, okay. <laughs> All right, so we cover one of his Power Plants. There's a uh, Rainbow to the active. Is actually enough for a knockout. That's cute. Okay. <laughs> he, he for real. He's super got a knockout. I got you, buddy. And the shrine. Okay, the shrine's it, it's irrelevant. We got the knockout. Okay. Man, he doesn't have anything, and I don't have anything. But I can at least knock him out. Yes. Acrobike. Oh no, guys. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so we got a knockout here. Oh my goodness, is this how we lose? We had so many. Okay, so it, 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 he needs a frost last. Oh my goodness, there's communication. Of course! Of course, there's communication! No! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh my goodness, we played like three supporter cards in all of these games. Okay, well, so we lose our first deck, we lose Dark Box, but oh, it was so much fun. Unfortunately, we played against a deck with a bunch of, of, of power plants. Oh my goodness. So we'll see the deck later on. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow for another deck. Alrighty, bye.